Eminem, one of the true goats in the rap game. As quiet as he is, he's not someone you ever want to mess with. If he puts you on a diss track, it's probably going to be the end of your career as a rapper. They don't just call him the rap god for no reason. He is one of the highest selling hip hop artists of all time, and that doesn't look like it will change anytime soon. Yet, rappers still go on to step on his toes and cross his path. Keep watching till the end of this video to see rappers who never feared Eminem. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Rappers who never feared Eminem. I don't think anyone in their right mind would ever want to pick a fight with Eminem. But apparently, there were a few rappers who did. And they made it quite clear that they were never afraid to come at him. Nick Cannon. The whole story began back in the day, when Eminem allegedly dated Mariah Carey for a brief period of time, though she denied that the relationship ever happened. Eminem dropped bagpipes from Baghdad from his Relapse album, calling out Carey and her then-husband, Cannon, directly. Mariah, whatever happened to us? Why did we have to break up? He raps before adding, Nick, you had your fun. I've come to kick you in your sack of junk. Cannon replied, I asked myself, should I go find this and just whoop his little He continued, let's not forget about Eminem's amateur mixtape rants of calling African Americans and how he hates black How do we let him get away with that in the first place? He is a natural born racist in disguise. Someone tell this coward that he finally barked up the wrong tree. Everything seemed to simmer down a bit for the 10 years following the initial punches. The music world was then reminded of the old beef a decade later when Cannon appeared on T.I.'s Expeditiously podcast. Cannon said, I think we was flying back on a jet from Africa or somewhere and this mother drops a song like talking he said, calling Mariah all kinds of and I'm like, this is my wife. This is my new wife. I wrote a letter first. I don't even know if Twitter has come out yet. And this this, <laughs> this mother drop a song like talk like oh, ca man. calling her all kind of Eminem wasn't going to let a comment like that go down without a fight. In verse on Fat Joe's Lord Above, Eminem notes, but that other dude's whipped that got him neutered. He raps, tried to tell him this chick's a nut job before he got his jewels clipped, almost got my caboose kicked. Fool quit already, you not gonna do sh I'll let her chop my balls off too before I lose to you, Nick. In response to the diss track, Cannon aired out all his thoughts on Instagram, saying, At Fat Joe's album is star-studded with fire emojis. He even did some charity work and dug at Eminem out his grave, I mean cave. He wrote in a scathing post featuring Fat Joe's album art with Eminem's face blocked with a grandpa emoji, saying, LOL flam flam, blam blam, Nick Cannon, bring your at MTV Wildin' Out to battle like a real legend, Grandpa Marshall. We haven't heard from both rappers in a while, but I'm pretty sure the beef isn't dead. Machine Gun Kelly In 2012, MGK tweeted about Eminem's daughter, Haley Mathers, and it wasn't exactly what the father of a teenage girl likes to see on the World Wide Web. He tweeted, Okay, so I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter, and I have to say, she is hot as in the most respectful way possible, cause M is king. If you listen to Eminem very well, you'll know he doesn't joke with his baby girl. Now this is where things start to really heat up. After some frustrations over the fallout of the 2012 tweet, MGK was featured on Tech 9s 2018 song, No Reason. In the second verse, MGK shades Eminem, saying, I pop cherries and pop stars, you popsicles is not hard. Popped in on the top charts out the cop car to remind y'all you just rap. You're not gods and I don't care who got bars. Eminem replies to the diss song on his song Not Alike and decides to team up with Nine, yeah. But next time, you don't gotta use Tech 9. If you wanna come at me with a sub machine gun and I'm talking to you, he continues, but just in case you forgot really and need your memories jarred, like strawberry or pineapple apricot jelly, I respond rarely. But this time, Shady's about to sound off. MGK then responds to that with his own diss track titled Rap Devil, spitting, Hey, somebody grab him some clippers. This is his beard is weird. Tough talk from a rapper paying millions for security a year. I think my dad's gone crazy. Yeah, Haley, you right. He continues, about to be 46 years, dog. Man up and handle your bug. Took you six years and a surprise album just to come with a diss. Two years later, Eminem dropped the song Kill Shot, replying to MGK, saying, But when they ask me, is the war finished with MGK? Of course it is. 
I cleansed him of his mortal sins. I'm God and the Lord forgives, even the devil's worshippers. In an interview, Eminem was asked why he initially dissed MGK. He said, the reason that I dissed him is because he got on first, talking like I'm trying to hinder his career. He continued, I don't give a f about your career. You think I actually think about you? You know how many rappers are better than you? You're not even in the conversation. MGK never made any comebacks or gave any replies after the statement. Guess Eminem finally silenced the rapper for good. There have been some rumors of new feud fuel, but nothing as wild as the Paris 2018 rap battle has surfaced. Will Smith Will Smith stepped on Eminem's toes at the 1999 VMAs when he beat him for the Best Male Video Award. In his acceptance speech, Smith dropped a line that seemed to be aimed at his fellow nominee, stating, he never had to curse in any of his songs in order to collect hardware. Eminem took that as a personal dig at him since the only other artists in the category were Lenny Kravitz for the song Fly Away and Ricky Martin for Live in La Vida Loca, neither of which included any expletives. Eminem did what he does best and took a couple of jabs at Will Smith. He hit back in The Real Slim Shady with the lines, Will Smith don't got a cuss in his raps to sell records. Well, I do, so him and you too. The feud continued when Smith finally fired back at Eminem in the song Lose Yourself in 2005. With the rhymes, Mr. Nice Guy, Relationship Advice Guy, Light on the Vices, Priceless Smile, Look at the Eyes, Got the Look of a Survivor, Husband, Father, Dissed by Eminem but didn't bother him, Yup, well he classy, Big Will just get another 20 mil, Walk right past E, I'm a nice guy, why y'all harassing me, huh? Years later, Smith's buddy, DJ Jazzy Jeff, aka Jeff Towns, let fans in on a little secret by revealing in an interview with Montreality that Smith and Eminem actually met and spoke years before their feud started. I was a big fan of Eminem, especially of his super early stuff, Towns said. I just kinda reached out to him. Yo man, big fan, would love to do some stuff and he ended up coming to Philly, and we went in the studio and just knocked out some stuff. Towns continued, It was crazy because that was one of the times that Will was in town. Will walked into the room and I think I played just the two of us. Will listened to it and Will looked at Eminem and said, You are either going to be the biggest flop in hip-hop, or you are going to be the biggest thing we have ever seen in hip-hop. And Eminem never forgot that. Knowing Eminem, that's enough to get him pissed. Both rappers haven't had any encounters since this has happened. These rappers definitely weren't scared of coming at Eminem. But do you think Eminem was moved by their diss? Do you think they got a piece of the rap god? Join the conversation and let us know in the comment section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.